Good morning on what is a cool, bright and sunny day. It is Saturday the 10th of September. I'm in the reading up with a stack of parcels and a nice hot cup of tea. And so a new parcel to unbox. Uh, now I know this has come from um, Osprey Games because I can tell from the packaging. Let me find out what we've got inside. Ah, okay, get that click open. Um, extract from um, this. So I've got glue on my finger. <laughs> What we've got is Crescendo of Violence, a neon noir role playing game. So, uh, 2093 New York, a dystopian technological marvel where concrete high rises brim with holographic neon uh, as gilded mob bosses, uh, flashy CAOs, and f um, famous vid stars all strive to consolidate their power over the masses. And while the rain reflects the neon, it never washes away the grime and filth of the streets. Welcome to the world of synth jazz and cybernetics, where the status quo uh, grinds down the hard-working men and vat-grown clone alike. Uh, whether you're the redemption-seeking gangster, the one good cop in a corrupt system, or a, uh, a gene-modded musician trying to make it big, you're trying to, you'll be trying to get by in a city that just doesn't care. Epic fight scenes take centre stage in this game of stylized, high-octane high bloodshed. Jump straight into the action with a unique rule set designed to deliver a cinematic neo-noir experience. Uh, as the spotlight focuses on the brutal sh uh, showdowns that will define you or leave you face down in the dirt. Uh, so get ready to give give them hell as the sultry notes, notes of the saxophone build to a, into a crescendo of violence. So, crescendo of violence. Uh, and neon. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, and this is by Alan Barr, who did the Templar game. Uh, for uh, for Osprey, which I had a look at. Um, and here we've got the Temple of Contents. Um, and uh, um, and got a, uh, a forward by the author. Um, but, uh, and then we get into um, introduction. And the first thing it says, uh, Welcome to Crescendo of Violence, a jazz and cinema inspired role playing game that blends heroic bloodshed and neon noir into an action packed high octane and improvisational wire and gun fu role playing experience set in a cyber, a, a cybered up retro future dystopia. But it isn't cyberpunk, it says. It says it's, it's in cyberpunk. Um, it, uh, it might appear cyberpunk, but the game itself is not. Uh, it it borrows, a number, it borrows a number of themes from cyberpunk, such as concerns around advancing technology, disenfranchisement, disenfranchisement, uh, power, and, and, and corporations. Done explicitly about the, the things or pushing back against them. Uh, so, okay, so we have an explanation, but we do have explanations following of what is um, uh, bloodshed, heroic bloodshed, and neo noir, and that, that takes place in a wounded society. So, it does need quite a bit of explanation. As to what what it is, and what it isn't, um, but we do have a blood explaining. You know, essentially, this blends the genres, and there's a page, for, a half a page or so, of inspiring media. Uh, sections for the um, players and game master, an explanation of cinematic uh, game mastering. Um, you are going to need dice. Um, Tensilated dice, action tokens, and momentum tokens. So you're going to need a bit more, you know, you know just the dice, um, and then we get into a timeline of the world. But, uh, um, so that takes us through from uh, 2030 um, up to 2093. Um, so you've got a couple, two or three pages of um, background um, and what's happened. Uh, and um, what it's like uh, with a view from the end of the 21st century. And section on Neo New York, as opposed to New York, of course. 
uh, and then and basically that's an overview and then we get into uh, an actual sna snapshot a bit more detail including a list of the new york districts who lives there the elite the suits blues entertainers um wealthiest people in new york uh crime new nostra with the five families um to the UQs of the triads and other criminal organizations as well given it's all given a, a bit of flavor and detail law enforcement and the lifestyles of the rich and famous and not so rich and famous and sectional synth jazz cool uh i shouldn't do that again should i um <laughs> dark markets food and drink and so on basically just giving a good overview good introduction of the setting and then we a discussion of the problems facing New York, New York. That seems a bit short given the kind of setup. Um, but we also have a list of the mega corporations. Uh, but, uh, as well. Um, but, uh, and then um, a quick section on outer space if you want to go up in that direction. Uh, uh, tips for portraying New York. And then how to play the game um, at, uh, and um, interesting thing it presents eight paths to play in the game ranging from cautious and clever and dramatic to fast resolute sneaky and violent um, so um, and essentially these are the part the, essentially these are the means that the players want to use so they can be cautious or clever or fast or resolute and so on um, and then with basic tests is um, uh, so each each player character has these paths, um, and you roll a number of ten-sided dice um, uh, as a dice pool equal to the rating them, and then uh, result of one is not an automatic failure. Um, but, um, result is ten is always a success, um, and then. Um, Basically, the, the, the difficulty varies, and you just really—I think, presumably, you just got to roll one success, um, and then we have rules for a post test, pe bonus penalties, consequences of failure, so on. Um, uh, and what we've got: list of all the paths and the quick explanations. Uh, and then we get into actions and action tokens and and framing sort of like the spotlight bringing the spotlight onto your player characters um com uh you know uh combat um range damage harm so on um at, uh, um, at, uh, um so on and essentially it does say uh, although in the, this kind of the, sort of like the noir genre, um, in, in it's or in a trope inherent bloodshed that the characters uh, survive against all the odds until the very end. Characters are only vulnerable to death during Act Three of a session, um, so on. Um, essentially, what the play, sort of like what the characters are kind of trying to do, presumably, is barrel through the scenario, get through it, carry momentum um, into that final scene. A bit discussion of downtime actions, um, uh, which things like um, connect, earn, prepare, practice, shop, or vice, um, experience, and so on. What to do with it? Um, throwing in heat. Are you turning up the heat? Turning up the attention of the, the cops or the, um, or, the or, or, or the crooks? Uh, story structure. I haven't seen anything for um, creating characters yet, um, but I presume it's in there. And we're talking about intro, um, setup, the main plot, uh, I guess it's a different acts. So you've got the sort of like the act one, the main plot, act two, quiet before the storm, and then act three, the big finale, and act three, the epilogue. Um, and then we have example session, sibling rivalry, and that's going to set everything up, um, show you how it's done over across the sort of like the three acts uh, and the outro. Uh, job of the game master um, and um, you know just generally good advice um, 
running a safe game, of course. Oh, hey, no, that's actually sort of like, so, we're, so we are, well, we're good sort of like two thirds into the game before we get to character generation. So we're talking here about the goal of the character, where you're from, what's your look, and so on, how do you earn your stretch, and so on. Uh, and then sort of like taking it through the step-by-step -step process, so background details, and then the mechanics. Um, so origins could be natural, biodroid, clone, cyborg, uh, genji, uh, professions include, um, so there we go, uh, where are the, uh, there we go, origins. Um, professions include criminal, hacker, holostar, investigator, musician, uh, suit, veteran, And then we've got all the different talents and so on. Uh, and then equipment and gear. Uh, different weapons. Uh, and looking at the table, yep, that's an Osprey table. It's kind of odd, you can kind of see signature layouts. Uh, and that's very much an Osprey Games table. Um, so you've got different gear here. Um, so on, some and some cybernetics. Um, so, but, uh, but not an extensive, extensive list. Uh, gene mods, um, hacking in the wet net. Um, so you've got body hacking as well as, as electronic hacking. I'm, I'm presuming a section on non-player characters. Um, Okay, contacts and eyes, and that's about it. So that's Crescendo of Violence, a neon noir role-playing game set in uh, late 20th, 21st century um, Neo New York. Um, it's an interesting genre, which I don't think has been kind of done before. Um, it's um, it's very, I presume it's going to be very comic book uh, violence and action, um, done in bright neon or in the shadows. Um, but at the same time, you kind of have, um, you really need to have sort of like um, at, uh, 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 um, some jazz on or some Dwayne Eddy or something really just, just to really uh, pumping it up in the background um, to really sort of give it ha as a soundtrack. Um, it's a, definitely a role playing game, which I think it demands, demands, demands some kind of soundtrack. Anyway, that's uh, Crescendo of Violence, a neo noir role playing game published by um, Osprey Games. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, please click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. And, last, and um, lastly, if you want to be, uh, be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, where you'll see me out here um, with a package containing a book or game, which I will extract and talk about to the best extent of my knowledge. Um, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. then please do hit the subscribe button down below. In the meantime, thanks for watching another unboxing of the Nook. I'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.